10 past 6 and I'm just on my way to the gym for the first time in God knows how long but I'm still reeling in the fact that I was I was down eight and a half pounds yesterday that's going to keep me going for the week it really is having my first gym session. I'm happy but I should have got here earlier and done a bit more. So the whole point about Operation Transformation was about me being honest with myself and honest with those that are watching so that I can be praised for the good stuff that I do and judged for the bad and called out when I make poor excuses. So I was proud of myself this morning because I went to the gym, but it's time to be honest, I only actually did round about 11, 12 minutes in the gym. I could give you 101 excuses as to why, and I'll explain the timeline so I got to the gym at about 25 to 7 because I was up later than I wanted to get out and the gym's round about 25 minutes away from the house but it's on the way to work so it's a suitable gym I got to the gym at as I said about 25 to by the time I sorted myself out it was 22 I did 10 minutes on the treadmill a mixture of walking and running struggling to do more uh, because I got into a bit of pain with my knees and my foot but I could have done more so then I went on to the bike and I only managed a minute on the bike for two reasons one I ached and secondly I panicked about the time but again I could have done more I could have stayed on there longer I could have used some of the other machines I'm kind of proud of myself that I went to the gym, but I'm also really, I'm really annoyed at myself that, that I gave up so quickly, and I'm hoping that'll change, and I'm hoping by telling you that I admit that I gave up, that, that you'll tell me that I shouldn't have, and that will encourage me to go back. So I didn't get to the gym this morning. I had an awful night's sleep. I was like awake every hour or so. Um, I actually feel kind of rough, but I'm disappointed that I didn't even try to go to the gym because I think that might have woke me up. But I'll, I'll go. I'll go tomorrow. walking in the rain not for the sake of getting healthy and getting fit so as part of my operation rod formation I'm off to do my first park run this morning we're off to Notnakara where I am event director for that park run and after nearly four years of being event director, I think it's about time I actually did the park run. It's a bit foggy out, so hopefully I'll be able to see the course. Brad's driving. Say good morning, Brad. Brad. So happy. He loves being up this early. That's my first park run done. That's me, had a 5k walk this morning. And that's the only success I'm banking because I'm in absolute agony.
and I found the whole experience ridiculously embarrassing. Even though everybody was insanely supportive, there you go, I'm saying insanely again. On a very personal level, I hated every minute of it. It's Monday morning. I'm just out of the gym. And I hated it because I'm still in pain from Saturday. But I've had the weekend to think about Saturday and at the gym I was thinking about my reaction to my first park run. And I think embarrassed is the wrong word to use. I said after the after the whole thing that I was embarrassed by it. I don't think I was. I think I was ashamed. Four years ago, coming up in January, four years, I joined a Couch to 5K group, running out of Oranmore. Sean, who owns Gotta Run, he was, he was organising the group, and there was 40 of us that turned up, and every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock, we'd go off for a run. And I had so much support from all the people that ran because we supported each other. From Maureen, who I was running with. From John, who'd done it the year before. From Brad, who was really looking forward to me being able to go out and go running with him. So I had all this support from everybody encouraging me and after nine weeks the group of 40 of us ended up down to three myself Maureen and a, a man called Jerome the three of us that had been there every week for the nine weeks putting up with storms and on that week I ran my first 5k and I was over the moon like proper proper excited about it I signed up for the 5k series um, and after the Athen Rye one, well during the Athen Rye one rather, my knee gave way and I ended up collapsing as I came across the finish. I was on crutches for a couple of weeks. and ended up starting not the car park run while still on crutches. And it's at that point that I let myself go. I used every excuse possible not to run. Sometimes because I was lazy, but sometimes because I was actually still in pain. But more often than not, it was because I was lazy. When I think about the support I had and the encouragement from the various people, and how I just let all that go, and when I think about how much I was enjoying what I was doing, and I've lost all that. Or because I was making bad choices and crap excuses.
So embarrassed isn't the word for Saturday. I'm proud of what I did Saturday. Yeah, I came across last, but so be it. Not only is that the point of the tail walker, but I was still there. And so be it I came in last. So be it everybody else had to wait an extra 15 minutes for me when they could have packed up and gone home. None of them cared about that. That's parkrun, we support each other. As a community, it, it, it's an incredible event. Because whether you're a professional runner out running marathons every day or whether you just like the odd stroll, Parkrun welcomes you and welcomes absolutely everybody. So, so what if they had to wait an extra 15 minutes? They don't mind. But I do. So embarrassment wasn't the word and it wasn't the emotions I was feeling on Saturday. It was shame. I'm ashamed of what I've become. I'm ashamed of how much I've let myself go. I'm ashamed that I let people down who were behind me, supporting me, pushing me on. And I'm ashamed that I'm letting myself feel this way. Okay, I'm just about to go into Weight Watchers before my way in for week two. I'm not confident, I honestly think after the amount I drank and ate on Saturday, I'm going to be up. We'll see. Well, I went to Weight Watchers. And I was two pound up. I blame the weekend, I blame Saturday and Sunday because sun Saturday I ate and drank far too much. I thought I'd got plenty of points left. And also we'd got friends round. I didn't want to have to point what I was eating. I wanted to enjoy the night. But if I'd have planned better, I could have enjoyed the night and still been down. So I need to I need to work out what successes I can bank from this because <coughs> excuse me because I'm not I'm not prepared to let to let this get me down because if I let it get me down, what's going to happen is. I'm going to eat and there's two reasons that I know that firstly I've done it before secondly I've done it today when I found out I was up afterwards I went and had a big lunch and didn't point it what I'm going to do when I get home is I'm going to point it and I'm also going to cross out all my extra points I'm going to stick to my dailies. Now, I didn't eat that much that I would have used all my weekly points. So I'm not, so I am being hard on myself. But I think it's the only way that I'm going to learn. I think it's the only way that I'm going to get over the, these kind of little niggles and setbacks. I apologise for the quality of this video, but I feel it's important that I get it out there as soon as I can. So yeah, I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed. I feel down about this whole thing. 
because it just feels like I'm going back to my old habits and I need to get out of those. So as I said, I need to look at what I can, what successes I can bank from this. And there are some. So first of all, I can bank the fact that I'm, I'm still ahead of my proposed target. In fact, I'm four pounds ahead of my proposed target. That's not bad. Also, I've been to the gym three times. It's at least twice. Plus, I had my park run walk. Plus, I had a couple of long runs with work. What damage would I have done if I hadn't have had those? If I hadn't done those work, those walks and those gym sessions, what state would I be in now? How much would I have put on? I'm also going to bank the fact that I knew there was a risk I was going to be up and I still went to my Weight Watchers meeting. And I'm also going to bank the success that I'm learning from this. I'm learning from this whole process. I'm learning about myself again. I'm learning that I've still got a way to go. And I'm getting there slowly. every day to try and put something interesting up on the camera and Brad has just told me that I say the word insanely too much I, I say it insanely 